policy. I work with the World Health Organization in a department um, called the Special Program for Research and Training in Tropical Diseases. Right now we are at the stage where um, the global effort to control malaria and um, eventually eliminate malaria as a public health threat in a lot of countries is really gathered considerable momentum. We have tools which um, have proved to be very effective, drugs, bed nets, vector management. Uh, we have fairly reliable diagnostics to help us um, determine who has who has malaria and who, sh who needs to be treated. But all these efforts, um, they, they began to produce some um, impact and reduction in the number of malaria malaria related deaths globally in the past um, ten, 10 years. But to move on to the next level where we can see a much more dramatic drop, we need to begin to look at different scenarios and different uh, epidemiological situations and model what combination of interventions will work in those, in those, in those um, situations. So, of course, this underscores the value of mathematics in this kind of, um, in, this, in, in, this, uh, in this approach. It helps us to know um, in a particular locale, in a particular community, what mix of, in, of, of interventions will be required to produce um, the maximum effect. And that's that's where maths you know, would, would, would come in. And maths, you know, it's um, not just for modeling, but also for um, uh, not just for modeling disease pattern, but also in terms of also modeling the economics and financing of the of the of the of the, of the, of the interventions and um, how to distribute and allocate resources. We need to know, for example, the proportion of the population which require bed net coverage to have a clear impact and reduction in malaria transmission in that last setting. So we need models to tell us that. We also need models um, in the efforts to design drugs, modeling the kinetics of the drug um, and the profile of the drug whereby we have a drug which is not only very efficient in killing the parasites in the blood, but also able to kill the parasites in the liver, and stays in the body long enough for up to about a month um, to be able to prevent any further infection from being established, while at the same time is safe enough to, um, to preclude any adverse reaction either in the short term or the long term in the patient who has taken this drug. We also need models um, to help us optimize the dosing in special groups, pregnant women for example, um, children for example, uh, people who have co-infections, people who are um, sick from other um, 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 highly infectious diseases, HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, we need models to be able to optimize anti dosage in these groups of people. So there's a whole range of applications for, for modeling and mathematics in the area of public health and disease control.